Hi Bali Interiors, I'm Desiree, I'm a fashion designer. This is my house in Bali. Come and take a peek in my paradise. This was my first renovation and it did become a labour of love. It's a two bedroom villa with two and a half bathrooms and it's something that took me two and a half years to finish from start to end. I approached the project with an open mind, not focusing on one thing, but organically finishing each room one at a time. I really wanted to create a space that was quite expansive with a lot of airflow and light throughout the villa. I think I've created a very minimal and contemporary space all in all. So I chose to use the glass tabletop instead of using a solid tabletop to give it that lighter feel. I love to cook and bake, so I really wanted a kitchen that was functional yet aesthetically pleasing. To me, I think the marble is a standout feature of this kitchen. With the accents of green, I think they pop in this area. What I love about Bali is that you can bring everything to life as there's skilled craftsmen and artisans here. And I think the vases in the kitchen made of clay really elevate and make the area in conjunction with the marble look elegant. This is one of my favourite pieces in the villa. It's an artwork made of resin. And I think in an area with minimal colour and texture, this piece really stands out. This part of the villa was an extension and as I like really light and breezy areas, I added in the skylight to give it that brightness, which I think is really nice in this area of the villa. Everything in this space is custom made. I think that the accents of um, rattan really lift the area up and give it a little bit more depth. I love when I have friends over and we can sit and talk in this area, but also when I'm here, I love to sit and relax and watch TV on our projector. I built this wall off the main bedroom to provide some privacy between the lounge and dining room. I had these recesses cut out, which I love to put little tea candles in at night, light them up, and it looks really dreamy and beautiful. Let me show you the master bedroom. In line with the rest of the villa, the master bedroom has a very minimal feel. The silk chiffon curtains, the bed end, the seat and the sculpture gives it a very soft and feminine feel. Let me show you the main bathroom and my wardrobe. This is one of my favourite pieces in the villa. I think it's definitely a standout piece for me. It's a resin bathtub and I think that there's something really special about taking a bath outdoors, something magical and I think that it's quintessentially Bali. This is the back courtyard and what I love about this is that it opens up to both of the bedrooms, it provides a lot more light and it gives the whole house a really breezy feel. This area I love. I love to sit here in the morning and have a little coffee and just relax for a minute before I start my day. Come with me, I'll show you the guest bedroom. This is the guest bedroom and I think one of the features of this bedroom is the bed net. The silk chiffon draping gives it a very luxurious and elegant feeling. Um, this is the outdoor area which I love to spend time in. Uh, the pool was already here and we changed the tiles to elevate it a little bit more. And although this area is quite small, I think with what we've done with it, it actually looks quite large. Um, my favourite feature in this area is the shower with the marble backsplash, 
which originally I used for the kitchen. I placed it all in the kitchen and I didn't like it and so I used it for the shower. Thank you Bali Interiors for taking a peek in my paradise. Hope to see you again soon.